Hello and welcome to Everydad DIY. I'm Gavin. Today we're going to be making a holder for technical drawings. A friend of mine asked me to do this a couple of months ago and I'm finally getting around to it. Um, yeah, so we're going to be making it out of 18mm MDF. I'll put a picture up on screen for you. So stick with me and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to see me do here is just find a straight edge to start from. Once I find that, I just put a little mark on it and we can start doing our measurements. It's going to be 500 by 500 square each piece. And it'll be in two halves. Just using the skill saw here to make the cuts. You could use any other saw though, a hand saw would even do. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two slots in it and um, then put it together to make an X shape. So what you see me doing here is just marking out for where the slot is going to be. So I'm just using my makeshift table saw here to make the cuts. This is just a skill saw mounted upside down on a table. Now that we have the cuts made, I'm just gonna check it here. So I'm just using a jigsaw here to take out the last bit. You could also use a coping saw. So I'm just gonna try the two of them together now to make sure that they fit properly and that the slots are deep enough. So now that they fit together, I'm just gonna check the square and then we can cut out the feet. So what you see me doing here is just marking out for the feet. So I'm just using the square as a guide. The square you see me using here I got in Aldi. They're um, pretty good so if you see them coming up I definitely recommend getting them. I'm just using the edge of a masking tape roll here just to get the curve on the corners. So I'm just using a jigsaw here to cut it out. You could also use a coping saw again. I have this jigsaw for years. It's an old challenge that I got from Argos. It wouldn't be the best saw to use for cutting angles like this. You'd be better off using a skill saw. But we can always tidy it up later with the sander. So I'm gonna cut out two triangular pieces now to go underneath with the feet, just to keep it at a right angle. I should really have a blade with more teeth in it to get a nicer cut. That's the only sharp one I have at the moment. So I'm just going diagonal here just to get the angle. I'm then using a ruler to work out where I'm gonna be drilling my holes. I'm just screwing the two pieces together here so that I can get a nice cut and it'll be the same size. So as you can see, I end up with two perfectly the same pieces. I'm gonna attach them to the base now. I'm just gonna drill a couple of holes first. If you didn't drill the holes, you would end up splitting the MDF. Okay, so we're getting on really well there now. We have um, all the cutting done. The next thing we're going to do is we just need to level up the feet because I cut them with the jigsaw, they're not perfect, so we'll just uh, flatten those out. Uh, we're going to fill up a few screw holes and one of the seams as well. And yeah, other than that it's just a bit of sanding and then we'll do the painting. So that's what you're going to see me do next. So I've just decided to drill four holes, one in each corner. This is purely for aesthetics too. So I've clamped another piece of MDF to the back. This will stop the drill from breaking through. We'll end up with a nice clean cut. 
I just thought the holes would tie in well with the holes underneath too. So here I've just filled up all the screw holes and I need the seam holes. We'll sand this back now later. So I'm just using a sanding sponge here to go over it. You'll also see me using a sanding block with some rougher paper in it too. I want to be heavy in places with the filler so this will just help me cut through it that much quicker. You should always make sure that your piece is dust free and clean before you start painting. The paint you see here I picked up in Aldi, I think it was $6.99. You want to make sure you mix your paint well otherwise it won't be a consistent colour. The benefit of using a chalk paint is you don't have to do as much preparation. I have to say painting is my least favourite part. But this paint had good coverage so I didn't have to give it too many coats. Here's the finished product. Okay, so as you can see, we're all finished there now. It's uh, ready for its new home. I think it turned out really well and the color really suits it. Uh, we didn't have any real bother making it either. It was simple enough. The, I think the hardest bit was trying to cut the angle on the feet, but that's only because we used the jigsaw. I uh, just needed a little bit of tidying up with the sander. Yeah, other than that, I think it turned out really well. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.